for a patient to deal with Parkinson's disease, it also affects the family, of course. And in that process, we have a team approach to care. And we have a, a, a secretary who knows our patients and can uh, refer them to the appropriate folks within our practice to get them the help they need. Whether it's something simple as a handicap parking sticker, we know who to go to, go to for that. If they need uh, medication uh, changes, then of course they talk to one of our physicians or our nurse practitioner or a PA to uh, help adjust those. Um, if they have issues that they need to be seen sooner, we always, my book, my clinics are always overbooked and we bring in patients if they need to see us this week, we bring them in right then. We're always accessible uh, to our patients. Um, I, I think that what sets us apart uh, is the ability to interact uh, with patients and families uh, at multiple levels, whether it's at the physician level, we have nurses that help care for them, we ha can refer them to social workers, um, and uh, we also train people to interact well with Parkinson's patients and their families. So we train other therapists, speech therapists, uh, um, physical therapists, occupational therapists every year in a symposium that we do. So we have a reach that extends not just locally, but throughout the region. For Parkinson's disease, the teams consist of not only people in the operating room, but outside of the operating room as well. In the operating room, we have nurses and technicians who are familiar with our procedures and familiar with the equipment. And the equipment is quite intricate. There's a very complicated sequence of moves with computers and precision, and so it's important to have that team working together. We also have neurophysiologists who will help us interpret the microelectric recordings, the recordings we make of individual nerve cells during that procedure that helps us become more precise. Afterwards, those patients go to the ICU, the intensive care unit, where the nurses are trained in neurological signs and symptoms. It's a specialized neurological ICU. And then after that, the team goes even further because once we have these devices in, they need to be programmed, they're computers. So our, neurological, our, our neurologist will see the patients in clinic and very carefully trade them electricity for medicine. As they reduce the medicine, which is what we're trying to do, they will increase the electricity and bring them to a state of more stabilized symptom relief.